Pink and Cincinnati Bricks, there's the Lego Star Wars Imperial Shuttle, and yeah, I went to pick up the 2021 version on eBay, which is I got as a really good deal, so I just want to say thank God for that one, because what's the point buying a brand new sealed, since I did not want that set from back then, when it first came out, and I have a clip of it when I uh, reviewed the Mandalorian Trouble on Tatooine set. Let's talk about Imperial Shuttle. I don't like the build, you know. I prefer the 2015. The minifigure section, it's just less. Yeah. I mean, I still stand by it to this very day. And yeah, I purchased it. Just like I said, it's a good deal. And then I build it. It's like, just want to see it in person. And I'm sitting like, uh, no, I just powered out. So that way I can upgrade into this bigger scale that a lot of you people know a lot about uh, Imperial Shuttles. Just like the 2015 version. And yeah, here's the whole foundations on the left side. And then there's a lot of technique. Tech, well, what, what the hell am I saying? Technique. No, technic. I just want to say that. So yeah, a bunch of technic so that it can hold the wings. And then here's the front side. And then here's the right side. And then um, here's the back side of the thrust. And even though the part I like about this is... Uh, this move part right here, it just, it looks pretty cool and satisfying to um look at it and I'll touch it, you know, like a petting zoo. And then I decided to um add a landing gear, just like the 2010 version. For those of you who have the UCS version, yeah, you can actually uh, take this off just like that. And here's the underneath. Well, I'm gonna put this down a little bit. And here's the land gear, the way it looks like. Sorry about the blurriness. Let me have a good focus. All right, perfecto. Um, yeah, it's just a nice uh, technic part of the build. Just nothing fancy. And now I'm going to put it back on. Just like that. See that? Sorry, um, I, I did not show you this. I'm going to stall over again. Take this off. You see that little red Technic pin? Put it back right in, just like that. To make sure it's tight. And slowly, and voila. I'm gonna zoom in so that way you can see the, the cockpit, just like that. You open it like this, all right. But here's the coolest part, which is it what blows your mind that I can actually take this off. I got that from the Millennium Falcon. You know, you just take it out and then put it back right in, just like that. So that way you have more capability to put more minifigures, just like the uh, Pedro Shuttle pilot and the officer. Just like that. And put it back right in, just, just like that. All right, and here's the coolest part that the only thing I like about the 2021 Imperial Shuttle is um, this part right here. So you could do that and you have way more easy access to put more minifigures. And that's the only thing I like about that is that um, they included this so that when you um, close it, just like that, you don't have to worry about um, this opens at best. It's like, wow, that's pretty smart when it comes to Legos. But not only that, um, this part right here, this uh, design uh, foundation piece where my thumb is at right here that uh, Lego included from back then. And I really liked it. That's the two things I like about the Imperial Shuttle. One, the one that I just showed you, the, uh, the interior of how you can uh, open it like a treasure chest, and then two, this part right here, where my thumb is at. Now, remember I've been saying that, yeah, if you have the UCS Imperial Shuttle, you can actually uh, take off the display and put it on the display. So, watch this, and 
Yeah, you know how it works since I showed you early ago in a better closer look. Put this on cherry on top, just like. I gotta cut that clip off a little bit because it's a little struggling to put it on, but I thought it would be more easier, but hey, I got it. And then fold the wings down like that. And there you go. Look at this. Look at this Imperial shuttle with the display on. And keep looking at this. It's like, it looks really marvelous. When I uh, started building this, in a better looking version than the 2021 version that not a lot of people like, which is this looks so nice. Aye, 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 it looks marvelous, like I said, of this uh, custom build of the Piro Shell, just like the, the Republic gunship that I did in my last video. It looks pretty cool for what it is. And, um, hey, this is where the fun begins. And then here's a better closer look at this display stand for the Imperial Shuttle. The one I just showed you that how do you uh, put this on and yeah, it looks like a, a, a structure. You know, when you go out in public and you see a bunch of construction workers building like a new hotel or new, new projects like that in the future. The future, Mr. Rango. The future. And then, however, when I put this on, you know the, the part I just showed you. Um, this thing holds really strong, and I'm sitting like, "Wow, this thing's holds really strong, so that way it won't fall." But here's what it looks like. Since I'm gonna open the wings so that you can see what it looks like, and a bunch of Technic pieces, like really. So I would say that's the funnest part to um, put this on. I want to show you the whole entire details that I like to add on, but nothing perfect, but it's it just what it is. So, yep, here's the detailings for the guns, left and right. And then uh, this part right here, over there. And then here's the, the thrust, a way better closer look. And then the wings itself. All right, all right, playtime's over. So take this off and I'll show you how it works when I um, put the display stand on. Well, no, 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 uh, land gear, my bad. And then I wanna talk about the whole interior, just like, just more talking about it since I showed you guys that early ago, just a little by little and yeah, you guys should put six minifigures, and I know this uh, Stormtrooper Commander falls off the seat. So sit back, relax, and have a nice flight. For right now, I just put the Imperial Shuttle back on the display, so that way I can show you the ramp, which I'm glad I included it. So as you guys, just like the 2015 version. And then close this up. Right, all right. Overall, for this Imperial Shuttle upgrade, since I uh, decided to build a figure, just like the 2021 version, you know, Lego downscaled it years ago. And now, when I did that, and I'm like, this thing looks really marvelous when it comes to the build of the Imperial Shuttle. When I updated it, since that was really small, and I'm like, okay, why it looks really small? But you get what I mean. And here's the thing, though, before I want to end this video, that, um, I'll give you an example. Let's say Naboo Starfire. You know, it was released back in 2015, then now I'm looking at this and it's like, okay, it looks too oversized, so why not downscale it just like Lego did? You know, the X-Wing, the TIE Fighter, the Citadel for Trader, you name it. And I'm like, okay, I want to do that to see how it looks like for this uh, Naboo Starfire, which is, it looks pretty cool for what it is. And I did that in my last video like a couple months ago. so. Go check it out. It'll be a link in the description. But this one right there, it was small and I decided to uh, build it bigger. And yeah, like I said, for overall, I really like it. This It's really mind-blowing. The part when I display it. And anyways, um, yeah, how do you guys like this so far? Let me know in the comments for this Imperial Shuttle. So to me, like I said, I really liked it for overall. It's, it's marvelous. It's just, oh my God. And um. 
yeah, you like this video, give a like, hit the subscribe button, share this video out there, and have a good one.